Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Today, as you can, I always say this, as you can tell by the title, you've read this video, so therefore you kind of know what's coming. Uh, I got a whole load of stuff from W7, although people call it war paint. I call it W7 because that's what it says there. But yeah, I got a whole load of stuff from W7. It literally just arrived. I was planning on filming a different testing video and then this arrived and I was like, ooh, I want to put this on my face right now. They sent a free face mask. Appreciate that. All mine are just covered in foundation. But yeah, I got pretty much a full face and we're just gonna put it on. There's, there's no really other way I can say any of this really. I just put makeup on and review it. Like it's not actually that exciting, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the thing I always do and just show you guys new makeup and put it on my face and let you know my thoughts. That's how these things work. So let's go. Mm. Do people still dab? I do. Double dab. Double, double, double. Let's put makeup on. Little brown antler situation today. Oh, by the way, some of you knew what my t-shirt was in one of my previous videos. My little Beerus one, which if you know Beerus, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I got this t-shirt for Ollie. And if you know who this is, we, we've leveled up our friendship. Why do I do my hair just to put these things on? Why do some people look so cute with these things and I... <sighs> That's not what a reindeer thing does, is it? <laughs> I don't know what noise reindeers make. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with primer. So this is the Blur to Perfection Faux Filter Primer Potion. It says it forms a filter for smoother, more even looking skin, cucumber, chamomile, and vitamin C. Sweet, it's very cold. I think it's obviously been in like the postal van or something for a while, it's like freezing. So it's just a, it's just like that. I think a lot of us are very familiar with that kind of texture. Oh, smells like, Men's aftershave almost, which for some people that'll put you off. For me, I'm like, give me all the smells. Even if they smell like they shouldn't really go on my face, just, I still enjoy it. Okay, so it sank in really, really quickly. Feels very kind of like skincare-y, like a serum or something. It doesn't have any, is that hair on my lip? It doesn't really feel like it has like a slip or anything to it. Um, yeah, it just kind of feels like a serum really. So now for foundation, I have the Very Vegan Perfectly Matte Foundation in the shades Buff. It's only natural. So I've tried quite a lot of W7 products before. I used to do testing videos on them all the time. The one thing, I like a lot of their products, but the one thing I was always a bit like, mm, about is their foundation. A lot of the time the foundations are really good. They just either oxidize a lot or they're too orange or something. So this color right now looks pretty good. But yeah, I wanna see how this actually looks on my face and what it does. So let's do it. Okay, so this color looks way better than a lot of the other foundations that I've tried from them. Seems to go quite a long way, actually. It looks pretty good, you know? Like, I'm curious to see how it'll look with powder and everything on, but the way that it looks right now on my skin, just applied, I'm kind of into it, like way more into it than I've been with a lot of other W7 foundations. Because like I said, normally I will like, like the formula, but the color's just way off. Whereas this one seems to be pretty bang on, really. And it's like medium coverage, it says that it's a matte foundation, but it doesn't look matte on my skin right now. It does still look kind of dewy. So yeah, quite impressed by that. So then for concealer, I have two. I have another one from the Very Vegan range. This is the Perfectly Matte Concealer. I got this. Oh God, I wish I didn't have to say all the shades because it's just annoying to find. Uh, I got this in light. And then I also have the Get Up and Go Rise and Shine Concealer, which looks like a complete rip off of the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Maybe that's what it's called. And I got this one in the shade Soft Beige. A few of these colors might be off because they were out of stock of some of them. So I kind of had to go for whatever they had. So this looks kind of like a tart shape tapey sort of situation. So I'm gonna go in with that under my eyes and instead of my brush I'm gonna go in with this sponge here. It's not even damp or anything, but it's quite a soft sponge. So it works anyway I mean that's some pretty nuts coverage really I'm gonna go over my eyes. Otherwise, I'll look a little bit nuts I'm wary that it's matte But I'm also kind of like that looks pretty good. I might even go in with a tiny little bit What's this color like? Okay, it's a bit more peachy. I'm gonna go with this underneath first on this eye so this one, as you can see, it's a lot more peachy and a lot more liquidy. The other one's a bit thicker. Oh, blends out nicely though. It doesn't look too peachy on the skin. So that's the difference between the two concealers there. You can see this one's obviously a lot more brightening because it is a lot more of a lighter color. This one looks pretty nice though. It's not as intense, not as like light reflecting. I've got like one of those bubbles in my throat. Do you ever get that? And you suddenly talk and it's like you're underwater. What I might do, because I just like to mix things, is I'm gonna go in with a bit more of that, um, whatever it's called, the Rimmel rip off one, just because I don't want my under eyes to be as highlighted and I do kind of like how moisturized the other one looks. So I'm gonna combine them. The coverage of one, the 
formula basically of the other. And yeah, I feel like I kind of prefer that actually. It just looks a little bit more, like it looks more shiny on my under eyes right now, which is what I like, because then it just, then I know it is a bit more like moisturized. I don't want to have a crusty under eye. So I'm going to add a touch more of this one here and just brighten myself up with that. And I'll probably put more of the Rimmel ripoff one on top again. And then for any actual spots on my face, I'm just gonna go in with the matte one, just because of the coverage. But yeah, for my under eyes, I do just like something a little bit more hydrating. It's all looking pretty good though. Like I'm happy with the coverage, I'm happy with how it's looking. Sweet. Dude, I'm feeling pretty good about this. My like main issue with W7, like I said, I love so many of their products, like their palettes, their face powders and stuff. But the issues that I've always had with them is just the base and the color and just all of that. So right now I'm feeling pretty good. I look like a little beige worm, but I've got trust in the process. So now I'm gonna go in with one of these cream contoury things. This is called the Bronze Chic Universal Bronzing Balm. So it's kind of like the Chanel Tan de Soleil thingy. I actually tried one of these fairly recently from Technic. Wait, this smells and looks exactly the same, but I'm not too mad because I really, really liked the one from Technic. So I'm just gonna pop some of that on my cheeks here. I do have like powder bronze to try, so I'm not gonna go too heavy with this. But yeah, this smells, looks, applies kind of exactly the same as the Technic one. But look, it's so good. I was saying in my Technic video that I always like the look of the Chanel one, but it's so, so expensive. And I mean, when you can get the exact same kind of thing for probably like a tenth of the price or something like that, I know what I'd rather be doing. Even if the Chanel logo would make me feel extra bougie, look at me. You think bougie is my like go-to look? More like pooge. And I like it that way. All I can focus on is that spot, just trying to escape from my face. It's like a little gremlin trying to get out. I really like how this looks so far. Like, I'm actually a little bit shocked by how much I'm liking it because, I mean, like I said before, not had the best experiences with W7 um, like base products. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yay. So I'm feeling pretty good, but now a sense of like nervousness comes over me because this powder. So this is the Micro Matte Fix uh, Special Effect Special Effects Fla Flawless Face Powder. Why is it Special Effects? Does it give me a special effect? So it's a pressed powder and it's tinted. Not my usual thing, but I'm just going to take a bit of that and do what I normally do and just blend out any creasing on my under eye and then slap this on underneath. I don't want to put on too much because I'm aware that I've got a matte powder and I've got a matte foundation and a matte concealer. So I'm just going very, very sparingly. And it's tinted, but it doesn't seem too tinted, which is good because I always find it difficult to kind of, what am I trying to say here? Like normally when you have tinted powders, they're usually like light to deep or something. And there's a lot more skin tones than just light. And there's a lot more skin tones than just deep and all of these things. So I find it hard to kind of get the right undertone with tinted powders a lot of the time. So if you put too much on then sometimes it can just look a bit ashy. Whereas this one, Using the amount that I am now, it's not really leaving a tint or a cast on my face. So, so far so good. I'm gonna set the rest of my face down. It's definitely gotten rid of a lot of the shine. Like that looks matte, but it also looks kind of healthy. You can still see the light sort of bouncing off my cheekbones and that's obviously the before. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So now for bronzer and stuff, I have this palette here. I also have this, which I completely forgot about. I got it from TK Maxx and it came with, I've lost that as well. Came with this lipstick. It's just this little gingerbread bronzer and lipstick kit. Obviously it's kind of centered around Christmas time. I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it smells like gingerbread. It smells of something. So it's just this little shimmery kind of bronzer. And then we have a lipstick to go with it. I might not use it today. I mean, the lipstick looks pretty nice. But yeah, for now for my face, I'm gonna go in with this bronze brilliance palette. Oh, okay, maybe I will use some of that bronzer cause that's gonna be good for some very, very light contouring, but I need some warmth. So I'm gonna go in with a tiny little bit of this. See how pigmented it is. Yeah, so it's fairly pigmented. I'm gonna load up my brush and try some of that. That is very cool toned. So I'm just gonna spread that across my entire face. I think the shade that I have right now, by the way, is I think there's two different palettes. So I have light medium right now. I mean, as I blend it out, it doesn't look as harsh. Like it doesn't look as cool toned. Looks a lot more neutral. So I'll just do a bit of sculpting with that, but nothing major. Okay, so I've just swatched this shade here, which actually looks quite nice to be honest. It's obviously very kind of highlighty, but it's not too intense. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the gingerbread bronzer. But I'm just gonna take a tiny amount, very tiny amount. That's so, that's a lot. 
it's almost red toned. I'm going to apply no more than that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, blot it down, blot it down, get rid. Okay, maybe not a fan of the gingerbread one. Too shimmery, too red, not for me. I'm sure it would look way better on like deeper skin tones or something, or someone who just likes a lot of warm tone bronzers. But yeah, for me, I just, it's quite red. I liked it before. I am starting to notice that I'm looking very matte right now as well. As I'm adding, you know, like other face powders that are pretty matte, I'm, it's kind of building up and I'm just, yeah, looking matter than I would like. Which isn't a problem. It's just a matter of fact. I know you like that one. I know you did. There's no way you couldn't like that joke. It was, okay. So then I'm gonna go in with this highlighter, which let's have a swatch. I'll show you what it actually looks like. It looks very nice. Okay, it looked better in the pan, but we'll see what it looks like on my face. Very nice. Ooh, that is nice. I need to come up with more words. I need to get a thesaurus just next to me so that when I'm like, oh, that's nice, I can just go, oh, that's exquisite. That's joyous. That's wondrous, impeccable. But yeah, why don't I just dub over it all and just give Ollie a selection of words. So if I say nice too many times, he can just go, actually, let's do it right now, Ollie, ready? But yeah, this highlight is looking pretty impeccable. It's a touch powdery, but that's the kind of thing that like, I'm pretty sure all of the highlighters that I've tried from W7 are a little bit more powdery than I would maybe like, but they're often quite pigmented and they look quite nice. So if you just put a setting spray on top or if you just kind of buff it down afterwards, then it does look a lot more kind of in the skin. So that's not something that bothers me. Like I can just put a setting spray on it and it usually sorts them out. But yeah, still continuing to be pretty happy with how this is all going. This is my favorite thing, like when I try out products, cause I wanna film another video after this, like just a kind of sit down talky one. And whenever I do these videos, I'm like, I need my makeup to go right today, so of course it's gonna go wrong. But actually today, it's doing pretty good. Might have jinxed it, we'll see. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot about this. I have another highlighter. How could I forget? This is the Very Vegan highlighter, and it looks pretty nice. Like I said, I completely forgot about it, so maybe I'll try and build up on this side. Ooh, okay, I think I'm more into this one, actually. I'm just gonna go ham, because that's the way I like to try highlighters. Yeah, I feel like this one is actually a slightly better formula. It doesn't seem to be as powdery. Obviously right now I am just layering, so it's gonna look more powdery than it probably would if I didn't have another highlighter on underneath. But yeah, that's a bit more like it. Doing. Again, adds the texture a little bit, but I've just learned by trying out many highlighters that if you just kind of press over the top of it with your foundation brush or your sponge or whatever you're using, or if you just use a setting spray, then it does just kind of make them look a little bit more smooth on your skin. So now I have a setting spray. This one here is called the Ready Set Glow uh, Illuminating Setting Spray. It's basically like a copy of the iconic London one. So they have three different colors. This one is the rose gold here. They also have a regular gold and then they have like a holographic one. So it's the usual kind of a lot of pigment in there. You can see swirling around. Looks quite dark, but I also have an iconic London one like this and it's like one of my favorite ones to use. Can you, I wonder if you can see that there's just like splotches of it, which isn't what I want on my face, but it might just be the first few sprays. Okay, that does look a bit better. I'm gonna do this from far away. Smells nice. Mm. I'm gonna let it rain on me. Spit on my face. That's what she said. Okay, there's some speckles. It doesn't look like the kind of speckles that I won't be able to blend out, but you know, ideally, you wanna just be able to go and nothing, nothing ends up on your face where you don't really want it. Yeah, so you can blend out the speckles. They're not as bad as some other ones when they literally just put pigment on your face and you can't even get rid of it. <coughs> Revolution. <coughs> but yeah, I would rather not have the speckles, you know what I mean? Um, but it, it looks nice now it's on my face. You just have to make sure that you kind of blend out all the little speckles. So it's like, there are other ones, probably the same price or more affordable or whatever that do a similar kind of job. But it's also like the end result is still pretty good. Okay, let's now do brows. So for my brows, I have the brow showing brow cream and brush. It's like a pomade. Not sure on the color, but I have something else to show you. I also have the Happy Hem uh, Smoking Brow Sativa Brow Gel. But the main thing that I have, which is very kindly sent to me from Sal, is the Brow King palette. So this is Sal's recent collaboration with them. Sal is such a nice guy, so I'm buzzing for him. He does brows for loads of different people, but he also does like little mixes brows and stuff. And yeah, they've come out with this palette here. So it has a little bit of everything you could possibly need. You've got a brow gel, a little mixing palette. Uh, you have brushes, brow pencil, brow wax, and then a bunch of different brow colors, which you can also use eyeshadow, I believe. Yeah, ultimate eye and brow palette. So what I might do is I might actually even do like a 
this brow gel like from the palette on this side and then maybe try it the other brow gel on the other side. So it's just this clear brow gel. I hate doing my eyebrows before my base makeup, but I so understand why people do it sometimes because sometimes when you brush your eyebrows through, you can like end up blending foundation into your eyebrows. But yeah, that seemed pretty nice. Like the brushes were really good. Went through my brows properly. We'll see how it kind of looks in a second. So we've got this little mixing palette, which I'm like, whoa, scientist. And we've got a little brow brush thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I used to do this with Benefit Browsings all the time. So I'm gonna take some of the brow wax and then I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Medium Brown and just kind of blend that in here to create a little pomade. Ooh, okay, this is, I like this. I'm very easily pleased, aren't I? But it's just this little pomade situation. But yeah, I'm just gonna run that through my brows there. Okay, that looks like a pretty good color for me. I'm always a bit kind of meh about eyebrow palettes because I'm like, unless you're a makeup artist or something, most people only really need their color. But the fact that you can use that on your eyes as well, like that is just like a, a perfect neutral eyeshadow palette as well. Obviously you get your brow gel and all that. So yeah, I think he did a good job with this. Like on first impressions, I think he kind of nailed it really. Like what more could you really want from a brow palette? Like I'm just generally pretty happy with how my brow looks. So then just to try a few other bits, I might go back in with this depending on how these things work. But yeah, I have the Smoking Brow Sativa Brow Gel. And yeah, it's just a clear one. It smells nice. I don't really know what it smells like, but I like it. So this brow gel has a smaller wand, which I actually feel like I kind of prefer the other one. Like if, if the other one was this size, but the same kind of wand as before, I'd probably prefer it. The product seems kind of good though. I feel like it's almost giving me the same kind of vibes as like the Refai Beauty brow gel. I feel like it's actually almost kind of slicking them down like a soap would. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like for more soapy sort of laminate looking brows, this is good. However, I also, I've lost it already. I lose everything. But for like daily brows, I like this as well. Both good. See, sometimes it doesn't need to be a competition. You can, you can both thrive. Yes. So now to fill in my other brows, I have the brow showing brow cream and brush stuff. So we've got brush on one side. That looks too thick for me, which is also what she said, um, but I can use the other one. And then, hmm, what color did I get? Surely I just got like a, I got dark brown. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Again, another thing that I've, not so much recently, like over the past few years, but one thing I found when I first started trying out like W7 makeup and stuff, was that a lot of their products were just too warm. Like I would try out a dark brown brow gel or something and it would just be like red. I mean, I like both of my brows. They both are kind of similar. So it just kind of depends on the product you sort of want, but both of those brow products are pretty damn good to be honest. Like both sides, I mean, the, the Sativa brow gel and then this brow cream and then also Sal's palette on this side. So next we're gonna move on to my eyes. So I have this palette here, which again is a very clear copy of like the Huda Beauty palettes. They do a ton of these. They have like the neon ones, they have the kind of pastel-y ones. So yeah, this is what the palette looks like. You've obviously got a bunch of like pinky tones in there, but you also have these kind of neon yellows. I recently did a yellow eye look, so I won't focus too much on that. Okay, it's kind of sheeny, kind of not. We also have this yellow shade, which actually looks quite nice. Yeah, you know how I've been liking doing the whole like, just kind of one color eye looks? I was thinking I could maybe do that with this. Cause this pink color, I don't even like pink eyeshadow very much, but I thought that could look really, really good. I'm gonna go in with that pink shade that I mentioned. And I don't really have anything on my lid right now in terms of primer. So I'm gonna take that pink. Let's see where we go with this. I want it to be quite blended. Whoa, okay, that is pigmented. So, I'm gonna blend it out in a second. So I'm just gonna go a little bit lower than what I want. So it might look a little bit crazy to start off with, but I do wanna diffuse it, but not crazy amounts. I like the pink. And then once I've kind of got it all off my brush, I'll start to buff it out. And then using a fluffy brush, I'll just really start to diffuse that. And then I'll probably go and do it again in a second. I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. Like I was expecting a pigmented enough eyeshadow, but not like that opaque. What a lovely surprise. So then I'm actually just using the big fluffy brush now. Now that I've got it all sort of laid down a bit more, I'm just gonna tap that in. I'm basically just kind of let the brush do the work. I'm basically putting product here. And then by the time I've blended it out, the product just gets blended out like by the end of the brush. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Hmm. 
So I'm just gonna keep tapping that on and just slightly building it up. I'm barely taking any product just because I don't want it to be too unblended. Okay, so I'm basically like all over my lid now. I just have a little bit of a gap in the center. I'm gonna take the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go in with this like just orange shade. I was trying to think of another word for it. It's just orange. And I'm just gonna slap that right in the center and just try to blend that out. Nice! It's like I don't want it to be an obvious gradient. I just want it to kind of just look like a nice little selection of colors on my eyelid. I like this. Can you tell by my dance? Catch me at like whatever date it is that we're supposed to be out of lockdown. This is how I'm gonna be dancing. Steam in the club, I'll be dancing like this. Yeah, these colors are really, really pigmented actually. I was kind of thinking to myself, is this just gonna be like a bad dupe of the palette? It's actually a pretty damn good dupe. Like I've tried, I haven't tried this neon one, but I've tried some of the other neon palettes and you know, I know some people disagree with dupes and to be honest, I think it's okay to do dupes, but maybe not to copy the exact palette and stuff. But I also know that not everyone can or wants to buy the full size. So I don't know, but this is performing really, really well. I'm kind of curious about this color as well. This like shimmery orange. I'm thinking, do I just put a bit of that on my lid? Maybe a tiny, teeny tiny bit. I really don't want much at all because I really kind of like this. Teeny tiny bit. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Well, nothing's really coming off on my brush. So I'm going to take that as a sign that either number one, the shimmers in this palette just aren't that great. Or number two, it's just not supposed to happen. So I'm gonna go back over with a bit more of that matte orange just to hide the evidence. Cool. And then for my lower lash line, I'm like, what kind of color is this? Nah, I'm gonna stick with this pink color. I really, really like the pink. And I'll just run that on the outer corner on my lower lash line. Well, out of two thirds. Okay, there is a bit of fallout. I can probably clear it up. Du, 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 du. Okay, maybe it, it looks a bit more smoky than I would like, so just be wary of that. I'm gonna roll with it. If it wants me to be that smoky and that blown out, I'll do it. And then I'm gonna take that orange shade, and again, bring that more so on the inner corner. Looks like I got pink eye, but fashion. So now I've decided that I potentially wanna put some yellow on my inner corner. So let's just try that and see what the hell happens. Ah, <gasps> would you believe it? You know what happens when you put yellow on your inner corner? You have yellow on your inner corner. Shocking. I don't know what I was expecting to happen. Bit of the shimmer maybe? I'm trying with these shimmers. It might not work for me. I just think the shimmers are a bit naff in this palette. Like the mattes are really, really good. Yeah, the shimmer's not good. It's just not really doing anything. The shimmer that is good though is this one. So I'm gonna add a touch of the Very Vegan highlighter. Just in the middle, just to kind of make that inner corner pop even more. And then I'll also run a bit of that on my brow bone, like that. I'm pretty happy with that, cool. I like this palette. I think the shimmers are not necessary. Like if I just had a whole just palette of mattes, I'd be really, really into that. I feel like they maybe should have done that as opposed to kind of like fully copying the Huda palette and just focusing on the mattes because the mattes are bloody good. Maybe like a full, a full like neon, huge, <gasps> 37, do a full neon palette with like all those colors, make it matte. Maybe add a couple of shimmers. Um, yeah, but the, the mattes I'm really, really into. So now for mascara, I have the Juicy Lashes Mascara. Now this apparently smells like watermelon. It does. Looking mascara is a new one. <laughs> Kinda tastes like it. Probably gonna have like black all over my teeth now, but worth it. No one asked me to do this. Is this my niche? Am I just like, you know how some people do like true crime while they're doing makeup videos, ASMR, whatever. I'm just like, I just eat the makeup products. Is that actually like my new brand now? So it's got a pretty strange little wand actually. I'll just show you like that. It's a little curved boy, looks like a little hedgehog. So I'm gonna run that through my lashes. Oh God, I've already got it everywhere. So it doesn't feel like it's grabbing my lashes that much. And I feel like I can't put too much pressure on my mascara one because then it just, I don't know, it kind of pushes my lashes back too much. I need it to just grab, grab them, get them with your little mascara fingers. I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I have mascara on my eyelid. And just push my face back. Okay, shrimp mode initiated. People out there are simping, I'd be shrimping. The mascara looks really, really good. It's just a bit difficult to apply. So as long as you can kind of figure out the best way to apply it. It actually is a really, really nice mascara. It's just difficult. It's just not easy. Like you've either got bristles poking you in the eye or you've got them poking you on your eyelids. The results are good though. It looks really nice. 
So now for my lips, I have four of these liquid lipsticks, which I just kind of got because I was just, I just liked how they looked. I think these are like gingerbread little guys as well. Yeah, yeah. Again, also kind of wonder if they smell of anything. Smell like chocolate. But I also have this lipstick here, which if I literally turn it this way, it, it just looks, oh. Maybe this way, there we go. Uh, it just looks like a Huda Beauty lipstick. I see what you're doing there, W7. I'm not, you might get in trouble, but I'm also very intrigued. So this one here is in the shade Original and it's just a standard looking bullet. Also got to smell this. So it looks like this. Oh, you know what? That looks like a pretty banging nude. I'm gonna compare it to the nude liquid lipstick, which is in the shade, I don't, pff, I don't know. Not a clue, mate, to be honest. Hot cocoa, maybe? But that's what it kind of looks like. It's a little bit darker. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line my lips with this and then I'm gonna put the lipstick in the center. Yeah. Seems quite pigmented. Seems to be going on quite nicely as well. Yeah, it kind of smells like, like actual chocolate almost. Like, almost minty as well. So that's that. And then before it properly dries down, I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. Big fan of this. I can tell instantly that I like this. I mean, could have applied the liquid lipstick better, but I'll sort that in a minute. You ever tried doing makeup on camera? It's hard. Pull me. Ah. Uh. Yeah, need to tidy things up a little bit, but that looks pretty good. You know what will make it better? You already know what's coming. A little bit of concealer in the center. Yeah, boy, every time, never fail. You can give me the most perfect nude lip color in the world. I will change it. Happy with that, so I'm now gonna go and sort out my lips. Do the other eye, I also have these lashes here, which are called the wispy lashes. I might not use these or I might cut them to be really, really tiny because these are long. Like my normal kind of lashes just go to the, the stubbier bits of it. Uh, yeah, these are very, very long. So I might do some slight in outer corner lashes. I might also try and put them on and just, they might get tangled up in my eyebrows. So we'll see. Ooh, suspense. But yeah, I'm gonna go do all that and then I will check back with you guys and show you the finished look. Okay. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I tried the lashes. They were a no-go for me. They literally just like, I cut them into like little outer corner lashes, but they were still just like this. And yeah, just wasn't for me. I feel like this looks better. So it is right now, one minute past 11 in the morning. Um, you all know the drill. I'm gonna go about my day, my very mundane day where I do nothing. <laughs> the foundation looks a little bit, like a little bit creasy. I don't know, it's just like a few, the areas like around my chin, around my nose and stuff, it is just picking up on a little bit of texture. You guys might be able to see it in the macro. The lipstick does look quite dry. It has just sort of fallen into the cracks on my lips a bit. And you guys gotta remember, like I have lip filler. I don't have as many cracks as like a non-lip filler lip would have. And yeah, it has just sort of gone in the cracks of my lips. It's all looking pretty decent though. Like there's some things I would like to change, but overall, like I'm kind of giving it right now, like a 6.5, probably a seven out of 10. Probably 6.5 for the base, but like seven out of 10 overall. So definitely not bad, but yeah, I'm gonna wear this for a while. And then yeah, I will show you guys how it looks in however long that while is. See you then. Okay, so it's a little bit later, not too much later. It's about, well, I'll tell you. It's 20 past five in the afternoon now, so I've had this on for around about six hours or so. This looks, I had a little look at myself in the mirror in the hallway a second ago. This looks pretty much exactly the same. It really does. like. Obviously the liquid lipstick has kind of stayed on around my lips, which has made my lips look pretty much done. Like how they look now, I feel like they actually kind of look a little bit better because it's just got a little bit of the staining from like the liquid lipstick and the nude lipstick, but there's no like over the top creasing or anything. It's just the usual really, bit more wear and tear, bit more oily, but actually the way that this has all stayed on my face, it's not my favorite foundation, but it hasn't changed. Like it doesn't really look any different at all. My highlighter is looking pretty good. I feel like it actually kind of looks even a little bit better than before because now it looks even more glowy and wet looking. Basically, I'm just a bit more sweaty. The eyeshadow looks the same. The brows look really good. I'm really, really into the brows. I don't know what it is about them that's a little bit different to normal, but I know I'm really, really into my brows today. And yeah, literally apart from a few spots kind of like poking out a little bit more, probably from just like having my hand on my face or something. And apart from a little bit of like unwanted texture kind of around my nose, around my mouth, it looks kind of the same, which I'm actually kind of impressed by because like I said, it wasn't necessarily all together my most favorite base look, especially. Like I would probably change a few things about the base, maybe just not do the concealer and the foundation and the powder together. I'd probably just use like one or two of them. So yeah, even though it's not my favorite, it doesn't really look any different. So if say for example, one of you guys try this and you find it's like one of your new favorite foundations or something, it doesn't seem to change the day. So it lasts pretty well. Yeah. 
I was like looking at myself in the hallway like, this actually looks kind of good. I wish the makeup was maybe a touch better so I could get like really excited, but pretty impressed to be honest. I mean, it's not necessarily my most favorite makeup look that I've ever done in my life, but I, I kind of rate everything. Everything was like above average, especially for the price. So, what are my favorites? I really like the eyeshadow palette. The shimmers kind of suck, but if you want like the neon mattes, this is actually really good. I really like the brow products, like Sal's palette here. I know I'm probably like the tiniest little bit biased because I know Sal and I love him, but um, this was great. And then also the other brow products that I tried. I like this bronzing cream stuff. I like the concealers actually, the concealers are pretty dope. Highlighter was good. It's just like there's loads of really good products. I just feel like putting them in my everyday makeup look and not necessarily putting them all together. Um, yeah. I just, I like a lot of stuff, just not necessarily all together on my face at once, but I like it. That's the review. So yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want me to try out. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you've tried anything from W7. Let me know the most important question I've ever asked. If you have, <coughs> okay. Do you have any pets? I don't care how big, how small. If you do, please tell me about them. Tell me like what animal they are, what kind of animal they are like what breeds, their names. Names are very, very important. But yeah, let me know all of that down below. I'm also now posting on Twitch quite regularly. So if you guys wanna check me out over on there, then link will be down below for that as well, alongside all the products, all the use. You all know how to use YouTube at this point. You know where the description is. You know where all of the stuff is. And yeah, I still continue to tell you. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And like I said, that's what I get. I was gonna promote my Twitch again but I burped and like hiccuped at the same time. I think it's trying to like stop me from promoting it, but check it out, I'm liking it. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>